Earlier on, we talked about uh, dynamic uh, um, sites, remote access. Let me show you an example of uh, something that was developed today, right here, by one of the members of the ecosystem. We have a, a place in Abidjan. Abidjan. Um, Remercie de nous avoir envoyé un exemple. Côte d'Ivoire, we're in a place called Le Village. So let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to put it on the screen. It's, uh, you'll see, it's uh, fun. So this is the same, same computer we were using earlier. So, uh, so remember, this is the slow computer. So this site is hosted on the server of Au Village in Abidjan. It's in PHP and it's using the Twitter API. The API is available uh, for free. You can ex extract it. So our friends at Le Village created test star Twitter. Pas du tout, en fait. Okay. Uh, il s'agit simplement du, du dernier tweet uh, à propos du mot-clé hashtag Frogans. So it's the last, the, the last tweet. There you go. Now you can see it a little better. Il le tire directement de Twitter. So they're pulling this right out of Twitter and you get the latest tweet. So this um, site will auto-refresh. So you will see it. It will change as you go. So this is quite basic, but I think it's um, it's an interesting example of a Frogan site uh, generated dynamically and hosted uh, remotely. So thanks again to Florent Usant, Jean-Marc Beaumont, and the others working at Au Village for uh, for accomplishing this. Thank you very much indeed. They created another Frogans site during the Africa Web Festival back in December in Abidjan. It's Test uh, Star Au Village. Yeah, there you go. They created this, and I think that there is uh, an image somewhere with the team. There you go. So, Syriac and Florent. They worked on the the site we saw right before. So, guys, thank you so much for doing this. Jean Emmanuel, over to you, you and Thomas Panou for a demo.